from the bottom, now my whole thing in. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's a Wednesday, rainy day. Hope my coffee doesn't spill. Get that right there. Such a rainy day today. So, we're going to talk about talk about um the stock what's going on in the stock put you guys right there the stock is going crazy right now <laughs> a lot of people are making money or seeing an increase in their in their portfolio um if you're into just regular stocks if you're into bitcoin let me take this off for a minute if you're into bitcoin cryptocurrency you're seeing a really big jump I'm gonna turn some heat on because it's cold in here. So you, you're seeing a really big jump in everything. Now, for those of you who are not into um, cryptocurrency and you're trying to get into it, look on YouTube, find out and learn everything you can about it, okay? But there's it's getting easier and easier to um, like invest in it, buy it, and hold it. It's getting very easy. Um, one of the places that I use a lot is user friendly, and it's this is for like pretty much just for beginners, and it's easy to invest in. Is Robinhood, and I have Robinhood. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll put a link down there, and if you want to try the Robinhood app, just click on it and um, use my link to to um, load it to your phone and install or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and also they give out free stock if you do that. So when you um, sign up and you wanna sign up, I want that someone else to sign up, give them your link so they can sign up and both of you guys will get a free stock. And I think they got something else, some other promotion going on. But that's through Robinhood. But there's other places where you can buy cryptocurrency like um, Coinbase, a lot of people don't like Coinbase. There's Binance, there's a lot of places. Um, I use Coinbase. It's, I mean, I, I just use Coinbase. Even though some of the fees are high, I'm not really worried about the high fees because um, it's just more an investment place. It's a place to put your money to buy and watch it grow. Now, before this whole pandemic started, um, a lot of cryptocurrencies and stock went down way way down and people were panicking and people were you know even I I even got afraid and I was like I'm losing money so I sold a lot of stuff and then when I was once I started thinking about it I was thinking that while everyone is going this way I need to be going the opposite direction because everyone's panicking and they're selling I should have been buying, buying, buying. So anytime you have that fear of um, like you're losing your money, which you could be, you gotta know when to um, either, you gotta know when to sell it and hold on to it and then rebuy it when it gets really, really low. So anytime you feel that, have that feeling like that, and you see everybody's doing that, then that's probably some of the things you should do. Focus on buying more. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, let's see. Uh, Bitcoin. Oh my gosh! It's almost at. It's almost at. It's what was at nineteen thousand the other day, and um, just a couple of weeks ago, it was around um, nine thousand. Probably about a month ago, it was around nine thousand dollars for one, for one whole Bitcoin, and now it's at. 18 probably now but yesterday the other day it was like around 19,000 and the last time I seen it this high was 2017 or 18 around I think it was around November or December it reached like 20 something thousand 21,000 for one and then you know things went bad and it went it dropped all the way down to like six and seven thousand dollars so um cryptocurrency can be it can be wild it's very aggressive and if you know what you're doing you can you can earn money just like stock 
Um, stock is a good way to um, save money. Um, I don't, well, let me say this. I'm gonna say this first. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, nothing like that, okay? I'm just explaining some of the things I've learned and and I tell other people about it because because I didn't do this when I was younger and I wish I would have did this a long time ago. Um, I wish I would have learned about stock and saved my money like that. I mean, I knew about 401k and I knew about saving your money into a savings account in the bank, which putting your money in a bank is a safety net, okay? It's just, just a safety net for you to put your money there and it's not it's not going to grow like it's not going to grow like if you put it into the stock market so i i tell people you know put some money in the stock market and put some in your savings account and just use that as a safety net you know just put it there because you know that amount is going to be there put it in the stock market you could lose some and you could gain some but you could if you invest in the stock market, invest in stuff that's that has a really good track record, like big companies that's doing a lot of stuff, like Amazon. They got their hands into everything. Like they just don't ship packages. They do a lot of stuff, um, and they keep um, they keep growing and morphing into other things. And Tesla's a good one because this guy he's into space. He's into everything. Uh, more than probably what we know. Um, and there's some other good stocks out there. You just got to watch it. And I recommend, like I said, use Robinhood. That's probably one of the best, easiest, user-friendly platform for like beginners. And you can load that onto your phone and, and just look at it. You know, take a look at it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say something and load something onto this channel because I haven't really been um put much content onto this channel because i i'm focusing on another channel um but i'm gonna start adding more valuable content to this channel um if you have any questions about anything like um, cryptocurrency or some of uh, stocks or any financing type issues or questions just uh leave a comment down in the bottom um now i'm learning too so if you guys have some strategies or something that you want to mention go ahead and put it down there and i might bring it up in my next video okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and um finish drinking my coffee before my break is over um yeah I, you can tell I'm, I'm in a good mood because my portfolio is earning money it's earning money um so guys just uh, look into stocks, you know, look into saving your money somewhere else besides the bank. Because putting your money in the bank, it's not going to get it. I mean, you're not going to get it. <laughs> 401k is, is, is good. It's for retirement. It's a long-term investment. But, um, but just solely having it into a savings account, those days are done and over with, okay? Those days are done and over with. Just use that as a safety net. You better off putting your money in a jar in a can or in your mattress like your grandparents used to do and leave it in your house in your in a can or something you're better off doing that besides putting your money into a bank okay guys so i'm gonna get off of here um and i guess i'll see you next one don't forget to hit the like and subscribe please do that for me see you guys later